Hi, and welcome to Children's Chapel for Sunday, December 20th. My name is Margie, and I'm so glad to spend this time with you today. This week is the fourth week of Advent. As you can see on my Advent wreath, some candles are quite low. This is from the first week of Advent, four whole weeks ago. I'm going to light the candles on my Advent wreath, just as we light candles at the beginning of every worship. If you have a candle or even your Advent wreath to light, as well as an adult to supervise, you can light yours too. First, I have the first candle of Advent, and the second, and then last week, which was Rose Sunday, or Gaudete, Rejoice Sunday, and then finally, we light our fourth candle today for the fourth week of Advent. There's no more candles left. That means that we are very near to Christmas. We have spent the last four weeks thinking about what it means to wait and prepare for God's arrival among us in the form of Jesus. One of the ways we've been preparing is by learning songs. The first song that we're going to sing today is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. This is a hymn that we sing in church some about the arrival of God among us, Emmanuel. The chorus goes, Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. We learned two verses to go with it. Let's sing those today, and if nothing else, try to sing along with the chorus, but I bet you can do the whole thing. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come the wisdom from on high, who orders all things mine. the path of knowledge show and teach us in her ways to go rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to thee O Israel I hope you enjoy that song. It's one of my favorite Advent hymns. The other song we've been working on this season of Advent is People Look East. The song is all about different ways of talking about God arriving among us, different ways to imagine that, and then different ways to prepare. We have a verse about love arriving like a guest and the way you make your house tidy and prepare. There's a verse about love coming like a bird and how the parent birds would feather the nest and get it all ready. There's a verse about love like a seed in the ground that's going to sprout and grow into a flower. And then finally today, we are learning a verse about love as the Lord, as Jesus. So here is that new verse and then we'll sing the whole thing together. Angels announce with shouts of mirth, Christ who brings new life to earth. Set every peak and valley humming with the word, the Lord is coming. People look east and sing today, love the Lord is on the way. All right, let's try to sing all four verses. People look east, the time is near of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you're able, 
trimmed the hearth and set the table. People look east and sing today. Love, the guest is on the way. Birds, though you long have ceased to build, guard the nest that must be filled. Even the hour when wings are frozen, God for fledging time has chosen. People look east and sing today. Love, the bird is on the way. Furrows be glad, the earth is bare. One more seed is planted there. Give up your strength, the seed to nourish. That in course the flower will flourish. People look east and sing today. Love, the flower is on the way. Angels announce with shouts of mirth, Christ who brings new life to earth. Set every peak and valley humming with the word, the Lord is coming. People look east and sing today, love the Lord is on the way. Those are our two songs for today. Now normally right now we would hear a story from the gospel, but this week is a special week at St. John's and we are showing the virtual Christmas pageant that many families made during today's Sunday worship. I encourage you today to watch the Christmas pageant as a family. I will also be putting a link to the Christmas pageant um, in the comment section for this video so that you can click on that and watch it yourself. I can't say it any better than the many families who worked hard to bring the story of Jesus's birth to life for our congregation. So this week we are going to end as we usually do with prayer. Let's pray together and in the pauses you can add your own prayers and petitions. Loving God, we give you thanks for this season of waiting and this season of this season of Advent. We give you thanks for time to prepare our hearts for the coming of God among us. We give thanks for our family, for our teachers, for our friends. We give thanks for the many people in the community who help to keep us safe and healthy. What else do you give thanks for this week? Loving God, we pray especially today for those who are hungry and for those who do not have a warm place to sleep on cold winter nights. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are lonely or sad, especially in this time of COVID virus where we can't get out and see our loved ones. We pray for our family that are far away. Who else do you pray for this week? All these prayers we ask in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. That's it for this week's Children's Chapel. I hope that you enjoyed it. I also hope and pray that you have a joyful Christmas. Have a good week. See you next time. And I love you.